All right, welcome everybody. <clears throat> this is going to be a roughly 10 minute video showing how to create a multi-page PDF using InDesign. That is what I'm going to require for the class that you are taking this term. So the very first thing to do is head over to eCompanion into the um, shared documents folder and find a template that I have created for you. Um, a homework template. I'll use the one that I've saved locally, so I'm just going to go open. And there it is. It is called Drawing for Animation Project Template. Okay, so we'll open that guy up. We can lose the rulers and we can size him down just a little bit so it's nice and in the screen. Okay, so one of the first things that you'll notice in this document is that I have set up all of the naming information that I am looking for. Um, your name, your phone number, your email address, the course title, the term, so whatever term it is, winter, spring, summer, fall, and the year, <clears throat> the assignment, and the project name, and then version one. Sometimes you may, be have, you may have to do multiple versions of the same project if it doesn't get approved. So I'll be looking for version one, version two, version three the last day that it was revised, and then page one of however many pages there are. So let's start with that. Currently we have a one-page document in InDesign. But we want to make, this is what you're going to be creating is 30, 40, maybe even 50 pages long. So each time you do that, what you are going to want to do is come over here, over to the Pages tab, or you can go to Window and Pages. Either of those two things will work and it'll bring up the number of pages you have currently in your document. Currently there is only one. This is create new page. Let me pull this up a little higher because I think it's getting off the screen. Create new page is the tab that you're going to be using most often. What I recommend is that once you've got all this labeling information, just simply grab the last page that you did and drag it over and it'll create another page that looks just like your original one. Of course, then you'll have to go in here and say this is now page two of two, while this one is page one of two. But it's fairly straightforward to do that. Okay, and you can just keep adding on more pages. Simply grab the last page, drag it on. You now have a three-page document. Very easy. Okay, the next thing to do is to add some images to this. <clears throat> Adding images is very straightforward. Go over to here to File go over here to place and this is of course the command key for it you will navigate to wherever your all of your images are for the particular project you're working on here we are this is drawing for animation homework projects project one and then these are all of the images that are part of this project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on number one here and I'm going to say open and you'll see that this icon comes up. This icon indicates that there's artwork being waiting to be placed. Simply click and the entire image shows up. Now of course this is too big for our document. So we're going to take advantage of these control handles here on each corner and on the side. Just simply drag it over. And now we have one single flower sack. But note this. If I click with the open arrow right here I get a uh, brown box that shows up. That brown box is all it kind of lets me know all of the other uh, images that are part of this file. So I'm going to take advantage of that by clicking back over to my closed arrow, and I will hit the Option key, which brings up the the double arrow, which to say that it's going to duplicate. I'll duplicate that same box a couple more times and then I'll come over here to the open arrow and simply, and if I hold shift it'll keep everything in line I'll simply drag over same thing, drag over so now I have three new images you'll notice that we're getting a little bit of bleed from the other images so let's just make those image boxes a little bit smaller okay I like that. I'm getting a little bit of the shadow there, but I'm not too fussed about it, to be honest. Okay, so I've got these three images, which is fantastic. And then, of course, I can go to the next page, File, 
and you can I should mention you just simply repeat it for all of these images um, and we can just do the same thing so file place and we'll grab number for simplicity's sake we'll grab number two and it's the same process once again so drag these guys over holding down the option key repeat it a couple more times and then get a bunch of new images in there now I'll show you this one other functionality which I find incredibly useful which is okay so I've got a whole bunch more images I want to get on here if I select all three of these and I hold the shift and command key I can scale them all up in proportion to each other so that is wonderfully useful especially if you need to get a lot of images on the same page very quickly one two three so there's number four there's number five and there's number six shifting back over to the closed arrow key I can open this up a little bit more and you can start to see how this all can just a matter of sort of moving these guys around this is a little bit frustrating so this brown arrow tells me that it's not going to grab the box the blue the blue box which is what I want so I just need to make sure I'm selecting that so that only the blue uh, image frame is highlighted not the brown image frame but you go through and you just space things out and make them look really good okay so getting images on the page is very very straightforward which is fantastic. Now we need to save this as a PDF. That is also wonderfully straightforward. You're basically going to pop up over here to file. You're going to go scroll down to Adobe PDF, PDF presets and the one you're going to choose from this list is smallest file size. Um, your images are primarily going to be shown up on the screen throughout this term so I want small file size under 10 megabytes and this will do great these will save in the 72 dpi so click on smallest file size the next thing to do we'll save this guy just to the desktop for simplicity's sake but the next thing to do is um, naming convention I want always 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 last name first and then you're only going to need to name this once because you're going to keep adding project after project to each one of uh, for each week um, and so what you'll just name this is the name of the class so let's call this draw for animation and that will do it um, and so we'll just save that guy to the desktop and don't change any of this stuff there's no need to um, you're gonna have all the pages um, go ahead and optimize for fast web view I just don't touch any of this stuff and just hit export and then you'll notice that there's that little it came up really fast because this is a small file but that little process bar um, tells me that we are now done and if I minimize this and I go look here is my multi-page PDF we have one two three we didn't put anything on that last page but a three page PDF wonderfully easy and straightforward so um, hope this is useful and of course if you have questions uh, don't hesitate to talk with me in class alright thank you